Well, with March Madness finally here, keep an eye on the different suits coaches rock. Now, NC Central's Lavelle Moton, A-plus attire tonight, my friend. Now, all year round, though, it's the players that get to have all the fun. New warm-ups, alternate unis, but for many coaches, that point of pride is the suit game. Now, you guys won't, or you won't see these guys in the NCAA tourney this year, but for some of the most stylish leaders, look no further than your own local sideline. You know you have to continue to feed that monster. You say you got 30 games and you got to have 30 suits, but for me, it's, it's 365 days a year. We feel like we, if we look good, they'll play good. And the players, you know, they get a kick out of it too, trying to see which coach gonna be the best, best today. Where are you getting blazing from though? I got a secret store, man. <laughs> secret store. For Jackson State coach Wayne Brent, who owns nearly 75 different suits, his style quickly evolved into part of his personal identity with players and fans. People get accustomed to seeing you in, in nice looking suits, so uh, every day that I, I, I come out the house, whether it's game day or not, those same kids or those same parents, they know me more by clothes that I wear other than just being, being Coach Brent. We got to get the rebound. Everybody got to go get the rebound. But coaches in Mississippi know they'll always be second to this man. Valley State legend Lafayette Stribling. David Sanders said he knew he'd made it the first time Strib complimented his wardrobe. So to get that stamp of approval from Strib, who this guy is, I mean, he has every color in the rainbow in his closet. So, you know, it was something that, you know, really made me proud, and he's a very well-respected coach. Cufflinks, pocket squares, watches. There's a lot that goes into picking out game day threads. Come here, kind of figure out what I'm going to wear. Sometimes my wife picks it out for me, sometimes I pick it out. And local coaches say there's a style unique to this area when it comes to sideline swag. So it's us, you know, New York has its own style, California has its own style, and uh, Mississippi, ha we have our style. And we, we believe in dressing loud and, and, you know, making a statement when it comes to our, our dress, and, and we enjoy it. Feeling a little plain right now. Yeah, I know, I, I was should. thinking... <laughs> If you're like those guys, you can match a blazer that's different from the pants. That style, we just come in these plain old suits, easy to match. But gotta get your swag up. I do. It, it kind of kind of a game within the game, though. So it was fun to learn that you know the swag really does matter. It does. Yep. All right, cool. Thanks so much, Jeff. That's interesting.